my story that um, you could be bitter, man. Like, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, for lack of a better term, like we said earlier, your charge was actually kind of defending your boss. It was absolutely defending. So in any other my, my, my world, bro, my, my, not just my boss, my brother, your brother. Yeah. So in any other world, when you do that, you defend your brother, who is your boss. You actually get rewarded for that. There's no downfall to that when it's a real world. But this is the industry. This you had to quickly learn that. Yeah. Because you like you really had to go from from zero to hundred real quick. Yeah. At, at that incident. You know. You know what happened with with, with Diddy with Brother Love. Mm-hmm. I don't really blame that on him mm-hmm. now. Right. As much as I did then, because I did go through a, a stage of, of course. bitterness. You're human. Um, <clears throat> but in retrospect, <clears throat> you know, I blame it more on the lawyers mm. that were advising him to separate the case than him. Mm. Because his lawyers were there, excuse me, to secure a not guilty verdict by any means. Right. He's a corporation, $100 million corporation. Mm. And you know, they look at me as the enemy. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, this is this, like this, this is how many years ago? This is twenty some years yeah, ago. Twenty something years. So Puff is still young, relatively. What is it? Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. Two thousand. Damn. So he's oh, wow. he, he's he's much younger then, and you know, it's a lot of pressure. You know, yeah. he's about to lose everything. I'm about to lose everything. Right. I'm from that though. All right. All right. You know. Diddy is a musician, you know, he, he's a great musician, great executive, mm-hmm. you know, great entertainer, but he wasn't from that. Right. So his response shouldn't be expected to be my response. And then when your lawyers and maybe other people are misleading you and misguiding you, um, I think that's how everything, you know, fell apart. And and he, he, he said that to me. Right, it's beautiful. He said, you know, man, you know, I, I'm sorry, man. You know, I, I should have never listened to those lawyers. That's real. And, you know, I forgave him. That's real. Um, but, you know, it, it, it was traumatic. Yeah, still So stinks. I would forgive him, and then, you know, you might hear me a few months later. Yeah. You know, uh, still stinks. going in on him. Yeah. Um, you know, like but, chick, she but again, that, 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 was, that, was, that, was, that was that was that was that was that uh-huh. was that was over a decade ago, mm-hmm. right. um, and I was in a different space then. Mm-hmm. And you know, today, you know, I'm all about, you know, how I'm going to impact the world, building relationships, and forgiveness is a part of that. I can't carry 23 years ago with me. In a negative way. Yeah. I carried baggage. 23 years ago deep shit right there. with me all the good from 23 years. That's the bad, I take the wisdom out of it, I take the lessons out of it, and I use it for the next 23 years. Mm-hmm. How I'm going to master this chessboard. That's hard. Right? That's hard. You know what I always say? I always say forgiveness.